Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So now, on this one right here, let's go through and try and figure out. So we're going to do definite integral using substitution. So now, huh. What is my issue here? It's a product, and there's a chain, right? Okay, so what would be the issue that I would have here? But I'm talking about product chain. I'm talking about derivative thing. Because when I'm doing the substitution, I take my item, I take the derivative of it, and plug it back in, right? And that's what I'm trying to get to. So that's what I'm talking about, product, chain, all these other things. So what do I not like of this? Probably not, right? So let, let's see what we can do then. So let's see, let's pretend that I'm going to have u is equal to 4 plus x. So du is equal to 1 dx, right? Okay. Hmm. So that would mean right here I have a u to the 1 half at least, right? Okay, so now I could also, can I substitute x also? If I say a u is equal to 4 plus x, can I also say that x is equal to u minus 4? Yes? Did I, did I just confuse the crap out of anyone? Please, speak up. Okay, because I'm just taking this right here and I'm rewriting it to get x equals. So now I can substitute that too. So let's see if I could, I could use that information. So now I'm going to take the integration. This piece right here is going to be u to the 1 half, right? And then the x is going to be what? u minus 4, right? And the du just changes out for dx, doesn't it? So this turns into du. OK, can we distribute this? Say yes. Yeah. I could distribute this. So when I multiply here to here, here to here, it's going to be u to the 3 halves minus 4u to the 1 half du. Anyone wondering where this witchcraft sorcery just came from? Or is everyone okay? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. If, if you want to ask something, I'm like kind of going through this quick, so I wanted to make sure I'm not losing anyone on any of this. Okay, you good? Okay, yeah? Okay, all right. All right, so now can I take the integration of this thing? Yes. So... Add one, so it's going to be u to the five halves, right? I'm adding two over two, and it's going to be two fifths. Yes? <coughs> Minus u to the three halves, okay? And there's already a four out here. It's going to be two thirds, right? Yeah. It should be two thirds, but it's going to be times that four. So that's going to give me. 8 thirds, right? Yes? Doing some voodoo stuff here, so I'm hoping everyone's following along. All right, and what am I missing? Plus C. What do I got to do now? Plug it back in, right? We know what U is, so let's plug it back in. So it's going to be 2, and the U is going to be, let's see, 4 plus x to the 5 halves over 5 minus 8, parentheses, 4 plus x to the 3 halves over 3 plus c. There we go. So the reason why I always say I'm like, hey, creative, got to be creative about this. <coughs> I 
Okay. Uh, let me see. This is eight. I think there's like 12 of this. Yeah, there's 12. All right. Do you want to do another one of these? Okay. So how about this one right here? So this should actually be like... This a trick? It should be. It, if you ever see something like this, you should look at it and be like, huh. There, I, you know, it looks familiar, right? That's, that should be a keyword. It looks familiar. Then since we are going over that, the trig stuff, all right, this could be one, right? But I would have to write it in the right form. So it's going to be, let me see, square root of 4 minus x squared. There we go. All right, so let's see. Sorry that this is uh, square root on the bottom. Right here. It's going to be this one right here. So it's arc sine of that. But it's 1 minus x squared. Okay. 1 minus x squared is going to give me that. Hmm. So I have to turn it into a 1 minus x squared, right? Okay, so that, that's, that's the key word right there. So if it has to be, uh, okay, so that 4 is kind of messing it up, isn't it? Can I factor out a 4? Take out a 4 out of it. So watch this. It, this is what I keep talking about creativeness. If I factor out a 4, it's going to be parentheses, and it's still all in here, right? And then it's going to be 1 minus x squared over 4, right? Yes? Okay, so by factoring it out like that, I'm going to make this into a perfect square. <coughs> Is it, isn't that going to be x? So technically, isn't this going to be x over 2 squared? Yes? Okay, trying to make it fit with one of these things that we already know. But isn't this going to be, watch this, minus 1. Right? Because they're multiplying together, aren't they? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I know. I'm trying to show you what's going to happen here. Square root of 4 is out of here because now it's a multiplication. I can break it up into two separate radicals. So square root of 4 is just going to give me 2, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's going to happen to that 2? If it's coming out, can it go in front of my integrand? Yeah. So it's going to go in front of all that. So that's what I need to do. So let me clean up. So it's going to turn into 1 over 2 integral of 1 over 1 minus uh, x over 2 squared, right? dx, and that's equal to... Remember, what was what was it supposed to be? So it was 1 over, no, wait, what, what was the answer? It was arc sine something. Arc sine. No, what, what, what did it come out to be? Was it just arc sine of x? Yeah. Okay, so arc sine of x plus c, right? So that's what it's supposed to come out to be. But now, in this case right here, what is the x value going to be? x over 2, right? That's why I had to take out that 4. So it's going to end up becoming, so this turns into 1 half, right? 1 half, which is coming out front, arc sine of x over 2 plus c.
the creativity. That's the reason why I like this unit. Creativity. <laughs> Seriously, you, 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 no, wait, hold on, hold on, let me, let me do the finger thing. Creativity. Synergy. <laughs> anyway, all right. It, it's, you, you have to think creatively, you have to think out of the box, you have to not just get specifically what you, what you have, you can make it into what you need. Okay, like I said, this looks something familiar, right? That's what I started off with. It wasn't exactly what I needed, but I could actually manipulate it to make that happen. Okay, so you're gonna get some of these problems in college, and I, I remember one of the proudest things. We, we were working on some ridiculous, it was a Calc 2 problem, and we're working on this problem, and so we, we were in the study, study hall area, and we had portable whiteboards, so whiteboards on wheels, and we, we did, we started on one side, and we're just working and working and working, and then we had like three people here, we're like, oh, like standing back at it, and, and so filled up both sides of this whiteboard just to get the answer. And it was just something creative like that, that we did not do. We didn't do, and like the other guy came over, why don't you just do this? <coughs> Desk flip, right there. He, he did the whole thing in like, like a couple steps. Why did I think of that? But I was, I was like so proud of myself. I'm like, man, forced it all the way through. Just to get to that. So, all right. What would this one right here be? Our tangent, right? What would you take out? What would you take out? Okay, so now let's let's look at arc tangent. What is arc tangent supposed to be? Okay, hold on, hold on. One plus x squared. So it's like this, right? Okay, can I make that work? Yeah. <laughs> Being all dramatic over there, right? You gotta have the one there, right? Say so yes. You gotta have the one there. So that means I have to factor out the nine. Right? So if I factor out the nine, it's gonna give me one over nine, and it's gonna turn into one over, okay, that would be one plus, now, because there's already a four there, right? It's gonna be four x squared over nine. But now, I gotta turn that into, so the whole thing is gonna be a square, right? Mm -hmm. So this is gonna turn into dx, and it's gonna be one over nine of one over one plus, isn't this two x over three squared? Yes? No? Again, you see see it where it could be, and you have to make it to what you need. How high are you? You haven't stopped laughing yet. Man, I'm telling you this. You like, start from here. No. Yeah, you gotta get it. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Okay, it starts now. It starts now. You. you got this. Day created. This is what I need, Paco. This is what I need. Come here. Come here. No, no. Come here. Bring it in. 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 Okay. Your problems throw away. All right. So. Word problem. We don't matter. Good. Yes. Okay, good. All right. We didn't even solve it, dude. Huh? No, we didn't. But what's that going to turn into? So arctan, so it's one, ninth, arctangent, right? So of Do 
it. <laughs> Don't let your integrals be integrals. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> Just derive it. Anyway. All right. Um, use substitution. Everything that we talked about. Method one, method two. Okay, so. Um, okay, now we have definite integrals. We're using bounds, substitution. Uh, okay, so now. So we're going to. I'm gonna go through this kind of quick because we don't need to go through all this. This is really close to what we have. What is the problem that I don't like with this one? Remember, you're taking the derivative when you do a u sub. Chain product. Yeah. Uh, Chain product, product, right? So what is gonna be my u? U equals what? <coughs> Four minus x squared. Okay. Du is equal to negative negative two x dx. Okay, is that going to take care of my x also? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. <coughs> so it's going to take care of my x, and it's going to put a negative one half in front of my integrand. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Easy. Yep. <laughs> okay. What's the problem I have with this? Okay. So I'd say u is equal to du is equal to. Okay, so now that would turn into what? Can I take out can I take out the half on the bottom already? Yeah. Okay, if I'm gonna put in another half, what do I what am I gonna take out and put it in, in front? I could do a one fourth, right? Yeah. Because this is gonna come out, this two right here is gonna go out front, so it's gonna be one fourth from zero to pi over two of one minus cosine of u du. I can do an integral of that one pretty easy, right? So yeah, so now it's going to be u, uh, u, okay, integration of negative cosine, <coughs> negative sine, right? Yeah, negative sine. Negative sine. <laughs> and that's from zero pi over two. Plug it back in. No, don't plug it. Don't. Not yet. Because we have to plug it in first before I could. I, I got to put my U back or my theta back. I'm sorry. So it's going to be one quarter. And that's going to be two theta minus sine of two theta. And that's ah, from. From. 0 to pi over 2. <laughs> so it's top minus bottom, right? So let's see. So it's going to be 1 quarter times 2 times pi over 2 is going to give me pi minus. So 2 times pi over 2 is pi again, right? Pi. Sine at pi is 0. Okay, so that's going to be, ah, I'm going to parentheses that one. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right there. Parentheses, parentheses. Minus the other one. At zero. Two times zero. Zero. Minus. Two times zero. Zero and times zero, zero. So my answer is going to be what? Pi over four. Pi over four. <laughs> yes. Um, it was on the homework, but it was like sine of h of t. How do you think of that? Uh, h of yeah, t? Sine yeah. of h of t. Like sine so, of h of t. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the. 
It's on, it's on the thing. It's right here. It's a. I didn't think we actually had those. They're hyperbolic. It's right here. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, listen up. This is important. Okay, odds and evens. Okay, so this one right here, when I have this, when I have something from here, I'm looking at this, it should be equal to, when I add this together, I'm only going to take the integration from here, from zero to here. Okay, from here to here, because this one's going to be an even function. That means at the middle, at the middle, it's going to be the same. Okay, at the middle, it's going to be the same. So it's two times the other one. Because when I plug it in the negative A over here, it's going to give me a negative value. Right? Yeah, okay, negative value. So it's going to, I don't want it to mess up. So you go zero to here, wherever, wherever it's actually symmetrical around. Okay, and then two times from that point up to the end, your, your upper bound. Okay, so now here's another one, an odd, it's gonna be like this. When I do this one and I add together my area, I have a negative area down here and I have a positive area down here. Okay, those are gonna come out to be zero. Okay, negative area and positive area is gonna give me zero. Okay, make sense? Okay, good. So same thing goes for here. Here's the rules. Okay, odd function then uh, should be zero right here. Throw that bad boy in there. All right. <coughs> and 12. What was I supposed to say? Uh, okay, let's try this one. What time are we out of here? 25. 25? Okay, good. All right, so actually let's, let's save this one, next one for tomorrow. Okay. And then... Uh, Friday will be the homework day for this. Like, subscribe.